Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mike, Bowtie Vet Guy. I'm here today to see Jojo, who's having a problem with... Mmm, hmm. Let me work this. Right, so... Yeah. Humping. Just don't hump anymore. Just don't hump. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> we'll have to try something else. Hi, hi you! Hi! I'm Dr. Oh, oh. Hi. This is Jojo, I guess. Yes. It's every, it's everybody, isn't it? And everything. Yeah. I'm not special. Except for my husband and I. Except for the two of you. Yeah. So he, he was pretty calm here today. Is it, so when there's more people, it seems to be a worse thing. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Jojo. Oh, you got some dental disease. Beautiful. He's like, what is this guy doing? I liked him a minute ago, and now less so. Hey, good job. Good job. Yay, you did it. Okay, so physically, I mean, he looks pretty good. Most dogs, when they're humping like this, it's just because they're excited or they're nervous. It's not really a dominance thing most of the time. You know, on a scale of one being perfectly normal and 10 being like super neurotic, you know, Woody Allen can't function, um, he's, you know, two or three. And he's, he's okay, he just has these couple of soothing things. So let's teach him to do something that's incompatible with humping. Easiest thing is a sit. He can't sit and hump at the same time. The hard part is we have to kind of reset, 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 you know, because he, he sits, he gets the attention, everything's cool, and then two seconds later he's right back at it, I want to hump again, I want to hump again, I want to hump again. So for him, the hard part is going to be consistency and doing it over and over and over and doing it with people who aren't used to this, right? So who are, right, so you can teach them or you have to have some way to have him not be, uh, not be able to do it, so a leash. You know, when you know a whole bunch of people are coming over, put him on a leash. He doesn't get to go see the person unless he sits. You know? Okay, here we go. That's perfect. I'm going to break him even smaller. Jojo, sit. Yes, good dog. Okay, so we can get him to stop the behavior when he's mid-behavior um, by asking him to sit with treats. Eventually what we want him to do is to do it without treats, but you have to start with treats because the sitting behavior has to be better than the humping behavior, and without a treat, it's not yet. It will be, but what we can do is, if we can get him, come over here. Get, get you, so now he's sitting, come on, oh yes, yes. So before he jumps is where we want this, very good. So he sat without me asking him to that time. So we've been doing it like four times here, it's about all I've done it, and he's already picking up like, oh, with this guy, what I do is I, I just sit right away and I get treats and I get love and all that stuff. So, Jojo. Yes, good dog, see? I'm not even asking him anymore. Jojo, yay, 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 yes! Oh my goodness, jackpot! So that was a really big one. Did you see what he yeah. did there? Like, I tried to get him all excited to see if he would replicate it. Mm -hmm. And then he thought about jumping and he went, no, 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 you want me to sit, mm -hmm. right? And that took me, what was that? Five minutes, not even, three minutes of me just, but you know, I do have to have treats. Good and I'll then. explain how we get off the treats in a second. Okay. So if he keeps doing this and we can't get, get it with behavior, we may actually think about medication okay. for him. So if we decide that this is a stereotypical behavior that he really cannot physically stop himself from doing and all this behavior trying stuff didn't work, then we might consider something to help with stereotypical behaviors. Okay. Come here, come here, can you turn around? Up we go. There's a good boy. Yeah. Okay, let's not let him calm for a minute. Okay, how do we get off of treats? So when you're practicing this, and you're practicing the sit over and over and over, it's sit, treat, sit, treat, sit, treat. Once he's doing it 100%, he doesn't get a treat every time. Sometimes he gets a pat, and a good boy, or a yay, or something like that. So that's also a reward, but it's a less reward, right? And what you wanna think of is, think of yourself as being a slot machine. Right? So you're going to give a reward sometimes. If you stop rewarding it completely, he'll eventually stop sitting. Like if you just kept saying sit and he sat and you didn't do anything, he would eventually not sit when you asked him to. Eventually. See what you do. See if that was a long enough of a timeout. There's a good boy. What a good boy. Someone using a nice calm. Congratulations on that one. Thanks for watching everyone. I sure hope that helps Jojo. If you have any questions about your pets, please put it in the comments below and thanks for subscribing.